What if the Titanoboa snake was still alive today? So we all know that snakes can grow to colossal sizes, but I bet you didn't know that the Titanoboa was by far the world's largest snake as far as scientists know. This formidable predator was once a threat to all life forms, both on land and in water. It was 13 meters long, weighed 1.25 tons, and could swallow a cow in one go, probably several cows in one go. Thankfully, Titanoboa went extinct. But what if it didn't? Would we be able to live our normal lives, or would it be the end of us? That's exactly what we're going to talk about right now on Matter. Because keeping you super entertained while teaching you something scientifically exciting really does matter to us. Get it? Pun intended. <laughs> The Titanoboa lived about 58 million years ago, and according to scientists, it was the largest predator on Earth for at least 10 million years. Can you imagine being an alpha predator for 10 million freaking years? What a legend! Its length reached 43 feet, and if we put that into perspective, that's about the size of two giraffes laid on the ground, and those are some tall animals. This gigantic snake could easily swallow a young hippopotamus but based on the shape of their teeth, scientists believe that these snakes ate mostly fish in reality. In addition to fish, it could easily feast on crocodiles too. Yep, crocodiles. The predator becomes the prey. Who would have thought? Scientists strongly believe that it was a very mean creature. It mostly attacked by wrapping itself tightly around its prey and squeezed really hard until the prey would run out of breath. Then the snake would swallow it whole and digest it for a long time. This type of snake is called a constrictor. But way scarier than your typical cute little pet smart boa constrictor, they don't even come close to the size and shape of the true beast, the Titana boa constrictor. If this was a video game, just think of the little normal boa constrictors as the little grunts you would defeat in waves to level up, while the Titana boa was the final end boss. Get it? <laughs> The Titanoboa loved the hot climate. It probably likes summer sports. I mean, who doesn't? But other than that, scientists believe that it preferred hot and humid clients so that they could grow bigger and stronger compared to cooler climates. Now let's imagine that this monster never went extinct in the first place. What would happen? Would Titanoboa prey on humans? Or maybe scientists were wrong about the Titanoboa being mean, and they would make a good pet. Well, first things first, because Titanoboa prefers living in hot climates, it would only be able to survive in tropical countries like Colombia, Venezuela, Brazil, and Panama. And secondly, Titanoboa hunted mostly in water, likely in swampy grounds of a rainforest. This would be good news for everyone who lived farther north or south where the climate is cold, it would, however, mean bad news for forest-dwelling people. And as for whether a Titanoboa makes a good pet, well, apart from being really, really dangerous, you wouldn't even be able to fit it in your house. So no, this snake would probably not make a good pet. It would, however, be a prize trophy when it comes to hunting. They could be used in many industries, like cuisine. Titanoboas would likely be very expensive, as catching the Titanoboa would not be easy. Hunters would also love to hunt these creatures, as their skin could also be used as snakeskin bags and boots, and would be very expensive around the world as well. But any hunter would have to trek through swampy rainforests, and unlike many smaller animals, because titanoboas are so huge, tranquilizers would not take them out. If you shot a tranquilizer at a titanoboa, it would probably just annoy it and encourage it to swallow you up whole. However, one thing hunters could do to lure it close would be to set a trap. Fish and crocodiles, the Titanoboa's two main food sources, are still alive today and can be used as bait. And once it devoured its meal, like most snakes we know today, it would be tired and less likely to attack. That would be the perfect time to catch the snake. Nature shows would be made featuring Titanoboas all the time, 
and camera crews would likely risk their lives to get a closer look of this snake. It's not likely that the Titanoboa would be kept in zoos, though, because they're very large and could break out and cause chaos in cities. No one exactly knows why Titanoboa died out. Scientists believe that the temperature of the Earth began to cool. As we mentioned earlier, Titanoboas love to live in hot climates. And as the Earth's temperature became colder over time, they could not adjust and eventually just went extinct. It's probably a good thing that they went extinct. I don't know about you, but even small, non-poisonous snakes freak me out. But I do love learning about them. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoy our video on huge megalodon shark. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out that video. Wait a second, now that we're on that topic, I'm starting to think that the megalodon shark was around the same size as the titanoboa. Do you happen to know? Drop a comment. Well, enough Megalodon Shark Talk. We'll save that story for another episode of Matter. Did you have fun learning something new? Well, if you did and want to see more amazing videos, please be sure to subscribe to our family and drop a comment on this video suggesting a topic you want us to cover. We're a small but passionate channel, so we'll actually read your comment and give you a shout out for your support. Make sure to smash the like button and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Till next time, friends. <laughs>